while I understand fully why they were so worried about the fiscal position, where they've left themselves is that they are very heavily reliant on monetary policy, which is turning out not to be as effective as they hoped. The economy is much weaker than they expected, there's no doubt about it, and they have been unable to do anything about that that works. So here we are, stuck way below the pre-crisis peak, um, 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 more than 3% below the pre-crisis peak, and the economy's dead in the water. I think the broad structures of the current policy are broadly right, that we have to consolidate our fiscal position, make our public finances better, we need very active monetary policy to try and get the economy moving and supply side reforms to try and get round this big productivity problem we've got in the UK. So the broad parameters are right, I think they're a bit timid. The government should be doing more to get monetary policy to get the economy moving faster. That's where there's some mistakes being made. There's been a big debate about whether the weakness of the economy since um, the emergency budget was due to the fiscal policy or due to other events. And I'm not insisting that it was the fiscal tightening that caused the slowdown. I think it's perfectly possible that the OBR is right, and Chris is convinced that the OBR is right. This is not, I think, a core disagreement. The core disagreement is, my view is, so what? The, the, uh, the, the reality was we didn't know what the future performance of the British economy would be in June 2010. My view was that we should use all the instruments available to us, including fiscal policy, until recovery had been established. Now, the fact that then what went wrong was negative shocks, well, that makes it even more urgent, in my view, that we use those policy instruments. I think Martin's wrong because he almost has a knee-jerk reaction to whatever's going wrong in the economy. Whatever's going wrong, he says fiscal stimulus is the answer. And fiscal stimulus isn't always the answer because you need to know what the problem is. And it's really...